Hello learners, welcome to our session for today. In today's video, we will be talking about the qualitative characteristics of images formed by mirrors. So let's start! Our subtopics for today's discussion are the following. Reflection of light, refraction of light, types of images, types of mirrors, images formed in plane mirror, and images formed in curved mirror. Let's discuss first the reflection of light or the bouncing back of light. The reflection of light has three important concepts. The incident ray, reflected ray, and normal line. The incident ray is a ray of light approaching the mirror represented by an arrow. So this one is the incident ray. The reflected ray is a ray of light which leaves the mirror and is represented by an arrow pointing away from the mirror. So where is the reflected ray? Here is the reflected ray. The normal line is an imaginary line that can be drawn perpendicular to the optical element. So this is the normal line. Law of reflection of light. It has two important statements. The first one, the incident ray, reflected ray, and normal line lie on the same plane. So those three must lie on the same plane. The second statement is angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So if the angle of incidence is 30 degrees, the angle of reflection is... Okay, very good. It is also 30 degrees. We have types of reflection of light. We have... Specular regular reflection, it happens on smooth surface, and diffuse irregular reflection, which happens on rough surface. The reflection of light on smooth surface seems to follow a certain path. On the other hand, the reflection on rough surface tends to move on different directions. Now, what are the consequences of this type of reflection? Specular reflection gives a clear image of the object, while diffuse reflection gives a blurry image of the object. As you can see here in the picture, we have the same object, the trees and the building, and we can see the blurry image in diffuse and the clear image in the specular reflection. Now let's talk about the refraction of light. What have you noticed in the animation? Very good. There is the bending of light in this part. Now, why do you think that there is the bending of light? Very good, because the light traveled in two different mediums. The first medium is the air, and then the second medium is this, the glass. Okay, remember, the refraction of light happens when light passes through different mediums. Okay, now here in the lower part, you can see here the refraction, uh, reflection. Ayan. Some light has reflected. Ayan. Now let's proceed to the types of images. The types of images are real and virtual. Real images are always inverted. It is formed in front of the mirror. And the size depends on the location of the object with respect to the mirror. So as you can see here, we can see an inverted image. Now, the other two characteristics will be discussed on the next part 
of our discussion. In virtual images, it is always upright. It is formed at the back of the mirror and the size depends on the mirror used. So again, we will be discussing this in detail on the next part of our discussion. So remember, we have two types of images. We have real and virtual. All you have to remember is real is always inverted and virtual image is always upright. That is IR and VU for you to remember that easily. IR and VU. Now let's discuss the types of mirror. We have two types of mirror. We have the plane mirror and we have the curved mirror. The plane mirror, its characteristic is that its reflecting surface is flat. This is the common type of mirror that we use every day. Now the curved mirror, the reflecting surface is a section of a sphere. So if you can touch it, you can feel the section of the sphere. Now, curved mirror has two kinds. We have concave mirror and convex mirror. So here in the animation, in the concave mirror, the reflective surface bulges away from the light source. So our light source is here from the left. And it strikes the concave mirror. Now, as you can see, the rays of light seem to intersect at this common point. Okay, so that is why it is called a converging mirror. The parallel incident rays converge or meet, intersect at a focal point after reflection. So in our uh, plate boundaries, we have the convergent boundary, which is the boundary which moves toward each other. Okay, so it is the same with this. Those Reflected rays move toward each other in a common point of intersection. On the convex mirror, on the other hand, the reflective surface bulges towards the light source. So this is the light source again in the left side as it strikes our mirror. What have you noticed? Very good. The reflected rays seem to move away from each other. So this is called a diverging mirror. Okay. The parallel incident rays diverge after reflection. When extending the reflected rays behind the mirror, the rays converge at the focus behind the mirror. Now let's proceed to the images formed by plane mirror. As you can see here in the picture, I am sitting in front of a large mirror. Now, how can we locate the image formed by plane mirror? Now, remember that the incident rays or the beam of light came from different direction or comes from different direction. So let's proceed or let's say that we have an incident ray, one incident ray coming from this point, traveling in a straight line, and strikes this mirror. So since it is in 180 degrees, it will reflect back in 180 degrees. Okay, the other one, and we have here a second ray, which, as you can see here, it strikes the normal line or the principal axis. So this is an imaginary line. Okay, the second ray. And it reflects or it will reflect on the same angle of incidence here. Okay, so again, we have uh, two rays here 
The first one is a ray which is parallel with this normal line or principal axis. And then the second ray is striking the point of intersection of the mirror and this normal line or principal axis. Okay. And it reflects in the same angle of incidence here. Okay, now extending these lines on the back of the mirror, or at the back of the mirror. Ayan. Ayan. So, this one is a ray of light extended in this part. And then this one is extension from this incident ray. And this one is extension from the reflected ray. Now, from this part, from the distance of this object to the mirror, it will have the same distance at the back of the mirror. So, we can notice intersections of rays. Now, in the intersection of rays, there will be the image formed. Now, let's describe the image. This one. Okay, so as you can see, it is very good. It is virtual because it is upright. Remember that an upright image is always virtual. Virtual image is always upright. Okay. Other characteristics. Very good. It is formed at the back of the mirror. Another. Very good. It has the same size of the object. Other characteristics? Very good. It has the same distance. And last characteristic. What have you noticed with the object and the image? Very good. It is laterally reversed. When we say laterally reversed, as you can see here, we have here the right arm. But as you can see that in the mirror, it is the left arm. So it is laterally reversed. Now let's proceed to the images formed by curved mirrors. Curved mirror has two kinds, the concave mirror and the convex mirror. As you can see here, the image has a bigger size compared to the object. Okay, and it is virtual and upright. Now, if it is virtual, it is always formed at the back of the mirror. Now, here on the other set of picture, the size of image is smaller than the object. So, this is the image. Okay, and then it is real. Why? Because it is inverted. So, as you can see here, the images are inverted. Now, in concave mirror, as we have noticed, it can form a virtual image and a real image. So, why? The characteristics of the images formed in concave mirror depends on the location of the object. Now, we will be using array diagram to present or to demonstrate the image formed in a concave mirror. But before that, we must be familiar with the parts of array diagram. The parts of array diagram consist of center of curvature, which is denoted by a big letter C, principal focus, which is denoted with a big letter F, 
focal length, which is denoted by a small letter F. So this is the focal length, the length from the vertex up to the principal focus is the same with the length from the principal focus to the center of curvature. So that is the focal length. And V is the vertex where the mirror and the principal axis meets or intersect. Yeah, so this one is the mirror. Again, this is center of curvature, principal focus. These are the focal lengths. This is the principal axis. This is the mirror. And this is the vertex. So let's start. How can we, or how can we locate the images in concave mirror? In locating images in concave mirror, I will teach you two steps. The first one is to draw an arrow from the object, on the top of the object, to the mirror. Okay? It is a parallel line from the top of the object and it will strike the mirror. And then after it strikes, the mirror, it will pass through the principal focus. Again, so take note, the first step is to draw a parallel line on the top of the object parallel to the principal axis. After heating the mirror, it will pass through the principal focus. So this is the first step. Now we can draw an extending line of this reflected ray at the back of the mirror. Now why is it necessary? And it is whenever there is no intersection here in front of the mirror. Okay. So maganda na ugaliin yun na lang yan. Based on my experience, nalilito na ang bata kapag walang intersection dito. Yung iba pinipilit na magkaroon ng intersection. Now, remember, if walang intersection dito sa harap ng mirror, possible, may intersection yan sa likod. Lalo na kung hindi naman parallel line. Iba ang parallel lines ay uh, lines na hindi nagtatagpo. Okay? So, remember that. Now, the second ray from the top of the object, you will draw a ray or an arrow that will pass through the center of curvature and it will be reflected again on the center of curvature, like this one. Ayan, kung napansin nyo, nag-reflect back siya. Okay, now again, the intersection is the place where the image will be formed. Now, saan ang image malolocate? Very good. It is between C and F. Ayan. So, it is represented by letter I, big letter I. Yan ang image. Now, bakit ganito ang orientation niya? As you can see here, the lines that or the rays that we had drawn is on the top of the object. So, as you can see here, nag-intersect yung dalawa or nandun yung common point. Same goes with the image. Kung saan mag intersect yung rays na ginawa natin, na andun ang top part or yung taas ng object. Na andun ang taas din ng image. Okay, so nandun yung taas. And then, since nasa principal axis ang ating uh, object, yung babang part, ang babang part ng ating image ay nasa principal axis din. Okay? Hindi siya lalampas dun. Okay, as you can see here, ayan, nandito yung ibabang part ng ating image. So, ayan, the location of the image is between C and F. Now, anong orientation niya? 
Is it inverted or upright? Very good. It is inverted. How about the size? Very good. It is smaller than the object. How about the type? Is it real or virtual? Very good. It is real. Why? Ayan. Tama. Because it is inverted. Remember, inverted images are always real. Okay? So, let's put them in a table para mabilis niyong matandaan. So, the object is beyond C. Ayan. Review natin. Here. The object is beyond C or at the back of the C. Ayan po. So, if the object is beyond C, ang location ng ating image is between C and F. Okay? And then, ang orientation niya ay inverted at ang size, smaller than the object, at ang type ay real. Now, what if the object is at C? Nasa tapat na siya ng C. So, again, parallel line from the top of the object, parallel to the principal axis, and then tatama siya sa mirror, and it will reflect passing through the principal focus. And then the second, oh, by the way, um, practicing na nag extend tayo ng rays. Okay? And then the second ray, Ayan, very good. Tandaan, it will pass through the C or center of curvature. And it will reflect back on the center of curvature ulit. Okay, so asan ang image? Very good. Nasa intersection. Ayan, so yaan ang ating image. Now, describe the image form. First is location. Nasa ng image? Very good. Nasa C. It is formed at C. How about orientation? Very good. It is inverted. How about the size? Okay, it is the same size of the object. How about the type? Okay, very good. So, it is real. Kasi it is inverted. So, let's put that in our table. Ayan. If the object is at C, the location is also at C, the location of the image. Then the orientation of the image is inverted, the size is same, and the type of image is real. Now let's see if the object is between C and F. Ayan. Ang object natin ay between C and F. So again, the two rays that I had taught you, parallel lines sa principal axis, pass through F or principal focus, practicing din ang extending of lines. And then the second ray is passing through C. So we have here the intersection and the image. Ayan. So the image, asa ng image? Very good. It is beyond C or at the back of the C. How about this uh, orientation? Okay, it is inverted pa rin. How about the size? Okay, it is bigger than the object. Okay, how about the type? Ayan, very good. So, it is real pa rin kasi inverted pa rin ang ating image. So, if the object is between C and F, the location of the image is beyond C or at the back of the C. The orientation is inverted, 
the size is bigger than the object, and the type of image is real. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito kanina, na ang object ay beyond C, ang image ay between C and F. Pero nung ang object na ang nasa between C and F, ang location ng image ay beyond C. Para it seems na opposite lang sila. And this one, the size. Opposite lang. Okay? How about if the object is at F or at principal focus? So again, parallel line sa principal axis that will pass through the principal focus. Second line or second ray is passing naman through the center of curvature. Ayan. So as you can see here, anong lines ang ating nabuo? Very good. It is a parallel line. So, kahit i-extend natin yan dito at dito ng pagkahaba-haba, it will not intersect. Now, if there is no intersection, very good. There will be no image form. Kapag ang ating lines or rays ay parallel line, no image form. So, if the object is at F, it will produce parallel lines and there will be no image form. Okay, how about if the object is between F and V? Ayan, pagitan ng F and V. Again, we will draw the two rays. Ayan po. Ayan, wala ulit siyang intersection. Pero, it is not parallel. Kung mapapansin nyo, paliit siya. So, mag-extend tayo dito ng lines kay letter C. Ayan, so may intersection na ba? Opo, there is an intersection na. So, again, kung saan nag-intersect, nandun ang ulo or top part na ating image. Ayan. So, where is the image located? Very good. It is at the back of the concave mirror. How about the orientation? Very good. It is upright. Okay, hindi siya baligtad. How about the size? Okay, it is bigger. How about the type? Very good. It is now a virtual image since it is upright. Okay, so that will complete our table. If the object is between F and V, the image will be located at the back of the mirror. The orientation will be upright. The size is bigger than the object. And the type of image is virtual. Remember, it is for concave mirror or converging mirror. Now, this one, dahil siya ay um, bigger, kinagamit siya sa dentistry para mas makita, magkaroon ng bigger image yung ating ngipin. And also, in makeup. Para mas malaki yung view ng mukha natin, makikita ng uh, mas malinaw kung saan part ng uh, mukha natin na ang makeup ay hindi okay. Ayan. Now, let's proceed to the convex mirror. Kanina, concave mirror or converging mirror. Now, let's discuss the convex mirror or the diverging mirror. The object here is in front of the convex mirror. So, again, we will use the two rays that we had used a while ago. So, the first one parallel to the principal axis. And then, ayan, magre-reflect siya away from our convex mirror. 
pero mag extend siya dito sa principal focus. So as uh, you notice kanina sa ating animation, nagkakaroon tayo ng extend deadline here because the intersection of the rays sa convex mirror is at the back of the mirror. Okay, so I guess alam niyo na kung anong type ng image ang mapo-form. Second ray. Yan. Nag-travel siya sa center of curvature. So, meron na tayong intersection. And we have here the image. So, paano niyo naman mai explain or may describe ang ating image. The location is very good between F and V. Okay. How about the orientation? Very good. It is upright. And the size? Very good. It is smaller. How about the type? Okay, very good. It is virtual. Kasi siya ay upright. Ayan. Very good. So, the images or the convex mirrors, dahil nagpo-produce siya ng maliit uh, image, kinagamit naman siya sa mga convenient stores. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa 7-Eleven or sa parking area, may malaki doon convex mirror. At matatanaw nyo doon yung, like this one. Ayan, matatanaw nyo yung malawak na area. Ayan. So, ginagamit siya sa side mirror ng sasakyan para yung nasa likod ng sasakyan ay kita niya. Makikita niya yung mag-overtake or yung may mga signals na ipaparating sa'yo. Okay, here, ayan. For security purposes, ginagamit ang convex mirror like this. Okay. So, ayan. We have here the images formed in convex mirror. It is virtual, upright, formed at the back of the mirror or between F and V and smaller than the object. Now, hindi siya katulad ng concave mirror na kapag malayo ang object dito sa convex mirror ay magkakaroon ng iba't ibang uh, characteristics ng image. Now, kapag convex mirror, it is always virtual, always upright, always at the back of the mirror and smaller than the object. Okay? So, always remember that. Now, to end, to end my discussion, there is a verse that I want to share to you. There is a spiritual mirror that we can look into that will show us who we are. That mirror is called the Word of God. So, it is written in James chapter 1, verse 22 to 25. Okay, so please always remember this. Tandaan po natin that uh, the best mirror that will show us who we are is our spiritual mirror. Okay, which is the word of God. So, And thank you for listening. Hope that you had learned many things from our today's video. And on the next video, we will be talking about the different characteristics of images formed naman in lenses or by lenses. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much and God bless.